I'm Aaron Graber with Ventrac, and this video is a quick guide to the Ventrac grass collection system. This attachment is typically used by landscape contractors, schools and municipalities, and large estate managers. Essentially, anybody who takes care of a sizable property with grass and debris collection needs. The most important feature of this unit that appeals to professional users is the hydraulic lift and dump of the collection bin. The collection bin lifts to a height of five feet and allows an operator to stay on the seat of the tractor and dump directly into the back of a dumpster or a dump bed pickup truck without ever touching the material by hand. This obviously saves labor and time and makes collection a much easier process. The collection system also has its own separate engine to generate the vacuum necessary to operate. This is an air-cooled 10 horsepower Vanguard engine which features electric start from the operator station. There are four accessories that are potentially on your tractor that cannot be used with the collection system because of interference. Those accessories are the cab, the canopy, the propane kit, and the directional hazard lights. The collection system can be used with either a 60 or a 72 inch side discharge deck and they both function well for grass collection. If the operator prioritizes speed and efficiency, the 60 inch deck will work a little bit better because of the performance advantage. The tractor you see here has dual wheels on it, and if you have duals, you probably want to use a 72 inch deck so that it covers the outer span of the wheels. If you're working in a condition where you're collecting more than just grass, so leaves or other debris, a 72 inch deck is a little more likely to plug up at the discharge chute than a 60 inch deck is. So for that application, we definitely recommend a 60 inch deck also. This attachment is 65 inches wide and weighs 525 pounds. The collection bin itself has a maximum capacity of 16 cubic feet and a recommended capacity of 13 cubic feet. What that means is the performance of the unit will start to taper down when you hit that 13 cubic foot threshold. There's still room for an additional three cubic feet, but by the time you get there, performance will be significantly decreased. The bin has a sight window located directly behind the operator that helps to visualize this. When material is just at the lower level of the sight window, that's about that 13 cubic foot range. Ventrac recommended operation is to empty the bin as soon as it's convenient when it starts to show material in the sight window. The collection system connects to the tractor using these two anchor points on the ROPS, which will be installed prior to connecting the bin, and also the two inch receiver down at the bottom. This attachment does require you having two sets of hydraulic quick couplers on the back of the tractor. So if your tractor does not have a three point, which would have those already, you need to add those additionally as an accessory before you install the grass collection system. There's two different ways that you can connect the collection system to the tractor. And those are the jack stands that come with the unit as standard or an optional base station. The difference between the two are the jack stands connect directly to the unit and allow you to roll it around and gives you some mobility around the shop. The base station is more suitable for a fixed option. So this makes a lot of sense to have on the back of a trailer, or you can build a little wooden platform or something, or even leave the base station just as is and use it for a forkliftable option if you wanna put it onto pallet racks for storage. Detaching the unit is fairly similar between these two options. The only difference being when you detach with jack stands, you literally just slide the jack stands in, adjust for the height, and then roll the unit away. And when you detach onto the base station, you back up to the base station and connect it while it's still on the tractor and then drop your hydraulic lines and everything else and then pull away. The base station has this latching mechanism here. So this would be open and it would allow you to slide the vac in and dock it. And then as soon as the vac is in, you would latch it there so that it's secure. And then you can forklift it into place or drive away if this is anchored to a trailer or something else. For this example of connecting to the machine, we're gonna use the jack stands and show you the whole process. It is worth mentioning that the tractor does need to have two sets of hydraulic couplers to perform the functions of the collection system. This can be installed on a tractor whether it has a three-point hitch or not. 
When the tractor does have a three-point hitch, you have to remove the middle weight so that you have room to slide in the receiver tube for the collection system. So that's the first step in the process. Down here, you would put this tube into the two-inch receiver and make sure you pin it and latch it there. If the tractor you're mounting the collection system to has a three-point hitch, you'll use this mounting hole near the back and if it does not have a three-point hitch, then you'll use the front mounting hole located here. And then the vac system can slide right up to the hitch, and you'll pin that in place using a pin like this. If you're using a docking station to connect, then you would get on the tractor and back the tractor up and line up that receiver hole to the hole that you need on the collection system. Since we are using jack stands, we're just gonna roll it up to the tractor as is and get it into position, and then we will slide this pin through. You'll notice we're almost lined up with this hole, but it's not quite there yet. So what we wanna do is turn this jack stand and raise the back of the collection system just slightly, and that should allow us to slide this pin right in The next step is to engage the roll bar latches to finish the connection point to the tractor. So you'll wanna stand behind here and just push it up slightly forward. Grab onto the latch here and then close the latch. And you wanna make sure to pin these for safety's sake. Go to the other side and do the same thing. are officially connected to the tractor. Now that the unit is stable and connected to the tractor, you can remove the jack stands, which will give you some more space to get to the hydraulic and electric couplers, and then we'll be all good to go. So first, remove the jack stands here. There are two pins, there's one on each side here, and if you give it a tug, it's still pretty snug there, so you wanna loosen this jack stand up. to the point where it is free. Once you're connected to the tractor, you want to install the hydraulic lines and the electrical plug here. So the plug goes into the tractor right here on the left side, and then install the right side hydraulic lines to the right of the tractor, and then the left side to the left of the tractor. To detach the unit from the machine, you would simply reverse this sequence. The recommended tire pressures are 15 PSI for single wheels, and for dual wheels, we recommend to inflate the inner tires to 15 PSI and the outer tires to six to eight PSI. Once the collection system is installed on the back of the tractor, your focus will turn to the front of the machine. So you'll have to remove your discharge chute from your mower deck, and you'll replace it with this vac boot. And then once that's on the deck, you'll take your hose, connect it using this metal clamp. This collection unit does have the ability for the engine to run when the operator is not on the tractor seat, and that lets you use this hose independently of the mower deck. When you're driving the tractor, you always want it anchored with this strap, but if you take it off, then it'll allow more free movement, and you go up here to the front and remove it from the mower deck and use it independently. So this is nice to get into flower beds or anything on the ground where there might be debris hanging out. Although this attachment looks fairly complex, operation is actually very easy. First, these are the controls to start the engine of the vac. On the front side of the vac, you'll see an hour meter, and that's just to track for service reasons. Here is your key to start the accessory engine for the vac. This is your throttle, up and down. And then on the other side, we have controls for fuel shutoff and choke. From the operator's seat, when you're actually running the vac and you're ready to discharge the material, these two controls on your middle and right side will raise the vac system and then dump the vac system. One of the features of this unit is that when you lift the collection bin up, it automatically shuts the accessory engine off. That's a safety feature and it's controlled by this switch right here, which is important to know from a service perspective because if this switch comes out of adjustment or it stops functioning, then it won't let this engine run. 
When the collection bin is fully closed, it presses against the back side of this switch and allows the engine to start. That's why there's adjustment on this bracket so that you can make it if necessary. On the back of the unit, this is where we have the engine for the collection system. As we talked about earlier, it has electric start from the operator station, but it also has a pull start back up here. You add fuel here at the top. This gives you access to your air filter, and then these two levers down here are your choke and your fuel shutoff. The grass collection system will fit on all 4500 model tractors and some 41 and 4200 models. If you have a 4100 or 4200 series tractor, Please see the owner's manual for this attachment to cross check your serial number to make sure that it will work with your tractor. Thank you for watching this video on the Ventrac grass collection system. For more information on this attachment and other Ventrac products, visit us online at ventrac.com and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on other social media.